Gala were defending an unbeaten home record at Netherdale, where they were welcoming Stirling County, a team who had only lost once this season and in all previous matches had chalked up try bonus points in their bid to get back to the Premiership. And things didn't start off well for the Maroons, who were forced into making a lot of changes with key players out injured. And it didn't take long for Stirling to cut loose and rack up the four tries needed for their bonus point. South African flanker Christian Klassen was first on the board with an early try to settle County's nerves. And soon after, Hooker Lachlan Forsyth doubled their lead with another try, which silenced the Netherdale faithful. Scrum half Eric Davey was next to trouble the scorers with this try, which was their first to be converted by Ewan Cunningham on a windy day, which wasn't ideal for goal kicking. And when winger Archie Rankin ran in for a fourth try bonus effort, it looked as if it could well be a very long day at the office for the Maroons. But the Gala heads didn't go down and Sam Smith clawed a try back to give them a little bit of hope. And when Tim McAvena went over for a converted try himself, things were a lot closer at 24-12 at half time. And it was the Maroons who went into the break with a spring in their step. It was an opportunity for Gala to use the two tries before the break as a springboard, and they certainly did that. Captain Craig Keddy going in for a third try from the Borderers, and all of a sudden, things were beginning to get very interesting indeed. Sterling were on the ropes, and John Turnbull got his name on the score sheet next, bringing up the bonus point for Gala. And with Russell Kerr kicking the conversion, they found themselves in the lead for the first time in the match. Sterling were under pressure after their impressive start and young Gala fullback Cameron Bryden added another touchdown, putting his team in for their fifth try in a row and opening up a seven-point gap on the National One promotion contenders. County needed to do something special to stop the rot and it was the second row Rory Hart who found some space to finally get points on the board for his team and the conversion made things all square at 31 all. Winger Mikey Heron broke Gala Hearts with a late converted try to put the visitors back into the lead, and it looked as if that would be it. But there was still time to play, and back came Gala again, hoping for one last chance to get something out of the game, other than their try bonus. After one final effort through multiple phases, Gavin Fisher eventually got over the whitewash to give Russell Kerr the chance to draw the game. But the kick went agonisingly past the post, and despite one final effort, Gala couldn't quite get over the finishing line, and it was Stirling County who departed Netherdale with all five points chasing for promotion. But Gala can be delighted with their display. It ended Gala 36, Stirling County 38. You know, Gala credit to them. They came out of the blocks and they, they, they came back and scored um, just before half time, you know, so their tails are up and uh, we're back in the shed, you know. So, as you say, we re regrouped there, but um, character to show, show the win at the end, but um, it was one hell of a game to, uh, to play in, that's for sure. We felt like the overall feeling after the game was disappointed because it was there to be had. Uh, maybe, maybe in the build up to the game, we felt maybe like we were, we were the second team, but like the last 10 minutes uh, of the uh, first half, we just had a bit of a spark. It sort of brought it back and a bit of uh, belief amongst the boys and we showed some decent rugby but it just came short. Just too many too many uh, penalties to give away and um, to allow them back into it but like I say we got the win in the end but we, we did make it hard for ourselves which is uh, not, not the best. We've been losing games or making games closer than it should be due to our discipline but I felt like as you said the numbers but the second half we sort of got a bit of a um, lecturing and got told we've got to bring that penalty count down and we did and we came out uh, a better team the second half.